Hey, how you doing guys? Zara here. Uh, yeah, you can already hear by my tone of my voice. I'm kind of uh, annoyed by this. As you can see by the title of this video, it's regarding that Sony is slowing down PlayStation download speed in Europe to actually help to increase the internet traffic. I mean, this is understandable. It's already confirmed information. It's not as if like it's coming from the third party source or whatever. This is coming from the statement on the PlayStation blog. Uh, by the Sony Interactive Entertainment president and also CEO Jim Ryan. And I quote, Playing video games enables players all over the world to connect with friends and family and enjoy much needed entertainment during these uncertain times. Sony Interactive Entertainment is working with internet service providers in the Europe to manage download traffic to help preserve access for the internet, uh, for entire internet community. We believe it's important to do our part to address internet stability. Concerns is unprecedented numbers of people are practicing social distancing and are becoming more reliant on the internet access. Players may experience somewhat slower or delayed game downloads, but will still enjoy robust gameplay. We appreciate the support and understanding from our community and they're doing their part as we take these measures in efforts to preserve access for everyone. I understand the situation. Kind of few things is retarded the way they do this is only in Europe and also PlayStation is the one doing it. Mm, it's actually kind of pointed at me as well because my choice of a console is the PlayStation and I live in Europe. So this bullshit information coming and just says like we're the only ones that are gonna have to deal with this shit is retarded. And yet Europe is not the one, well to my knowledge, I could be wrong about this, Europe is not the ones that usually get the most amount of the internet connectivity, broadband. I believe it might be America. I might be wrong about that, but still, I feel like all the information is like, oh my god, 6,600 megabytes of usage, downloads, gigabytes, blah, 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 and it's just all over in, in America. Like, I'm pretty sure they need to kind of bottleneck some parts over there, especially. Don't get me wrong, it's not, I'm saying, it's not as if I'm saying you guys that live in America, you deserve this as well. I'm not saying that. Maybe I am. I don't know. But I'm not trying to point fingers. That's what I'm trying to say. It's bullshit information. I'm kind of angry, uh, frustrated about it. I wouldn't, shouldn't say angry because I'm not. I'm kind of frustrated because I understand the situation, but also I kind of think it's retarded because PlayStation in itself already is an issue with the internet connection. It does not take a full capabilities or compatibility, I should even say, of uh, the internet uh, providers that they can actually give us a service. PlayStation does not utilize the full power of it. And now they're bottlenecking it even further. Why? Why do this? It's retarded. I don't understand why PlayStation is the one that are doing it in Europe. Now, the good thing I have noticed as well that Netflix and YouTube is doing the similar precautions because, you know, it's understandable, right? Because like they're going to be reducing the quality of the streams and uh, YouTube has actually said that uh, they're going to be for you to actually uh, get a, a higher quality video, you will need to do it manually. But still, okay, that's that's cool. That's that's still a step a step forwards. Netflix is doing the same thing. Uh, okay, that's fine. But PlayStation is not exactly the similar situation, right? It's not like you can manually decline this, uh, you know, suggestion or whatever, right? Maybe there are some good, willing people to do this, and they say, okay, fine, let this be a norm, right? I am willing to share the internet with the rest of the Europe, as an example. But again, uh, as I understood, Netflix, I don't think I had that option, but YouTube does. So. PlayStation perhaps should have an option as well. Now, it's not like I'm saying, for example, I'm pissed off about this because I'm not gonna get my time, my quality time, quality time with my games. No, it's been already mentioned. This is downloading uh, issue might be a problem. We don't know exactly how long or how much more uh, the delay there would be with the download speeds and everything because, like, right, quite a few games are coming out in April, spe uh, especially, right? We got uh, Final Fantasy VII. We also have got the Resident Evil Three. And games that if you guys have gotten as a digital version, thankfully, I you should be able to start uh, downloading it before the game does release. But it's not exactly always the same case because like you don't we don't know how long is the delay going to be. Is it going to be twice as slower? Is it going to be five times slower? Because like remember, like I already mentioned, PlayStation already has awful download speeds, especially without copying data and some kind of uh, cop. Like it's retarded. I don't think it's even necessary to have it. And thankfully, we already know that the PlayStation 5 does not have this issue at all. And thank God. I'm so so glad about that. Uh, by the way, perhaps I should sidetrack a little bit. Yeah, PlayStation kind of um, updated the website page, and they are still good to go with the holiday 2020 release of the PlayStation 5. That's kind of insane with the situations going around the world. 
and yet they're confident that they, get, they can go with the holiday 2020 release. That's impressive. It's just, wow, it's impressive. But anyway, still, this is... Let's get back into track again, right? Because like I feel like this sh issue should not just be handled only from Netflix, YouTube, and PlayStation. Xbox, they are actually taking majority of the internet because their console can take more internet connection than the PlayStation. They definitely need to bottleneck their, their stuff. I'm not saying as if like you Xbox guys, it's just not fair. They need to be taking majority of the bottleneck issues as well. Maybe I'm saying that. <laughs> It's true, like I personally think that every single provider, every single, I don't know, equipment as an example, needs to have some kind of bottleneck uh, issue, does that, you know, bottleneck to be implemented. Does that make sense? Hopefully. I don't know, I'm kind of pissed off about this, but whatever, I guess I'm thankful that way that this is just a downloading situation. It's not exactly going to be reducing your uh, like internet speed when you're playing a video game online. And since like, you know, for example, like Fortnite and also Call of Duty Warzone came out, unfortunately, you know, higher ups saw how how much of the internet has been been used. And to be honest with you, I got a feeling that if Call of Duty Warzone never would have came out in this certain time, I don't think we would have been seeing this uh, news at all. Might be. I might be wrong about this. I, I have heard that the Italy is having big difficulties with the internet usage especially because I'm there that got hit the hardest with the Corona... I shouldn't say that. Corona beer. <laughs> YouTube does not like these sort of stuff when you talk about something like extremely important stuff and especially an epidemic that's happening currently worldwide. YouTube does not like it when we... Uh, uh, anyway, this is, this is ridiculous. Some things we need to be addressing and I completely understand. Man, oh man, this is retarded. I, I actually do feel like if this can, it does continue with the problems that we're facing, America is going to be next and for sure I'm certain of it and not just PlayStation and Netflix and YouTube Xbox is going to be next as well because it would make more sense more people are going to be isolated at home and not able to go outside so what how else can they actually uh, socialize if that makes sense right and to be honest with you is uh, because guys if I live in Spain right I go outside still to shops and everything like that. Obviously, we have to take turns. Whoever enters the shops and stuff like that, you know, not to get that virus. Uh, the beer, you know, cro with sea beer, basically. And uh, yeah, it does not seem like a lot of people take any precautions, at, at least not to the fullest degree. And uh, uh, this situation is only going to be expanding. It's not necessarily it's going to get any better, but at least it will slow down, but it will still expand. Anyway, seems like we got a very dark future in front of us. Personally, I don't mind it because I'm kind of used to it. You know, being isolated at home, gaming, videos, YouTube, stuff like that, work. <laughs> Great life for me, but sucks for everybody else. And still, even those those of us, like for my as myself as well, we can't exactly survive if we have no food and different necessities in everyday lives that we are going through as well. Anyway, well, okay. I went on tantrum <laughs> a little bit as well. Before I do go, I am guys. I have made a Patreon page. I highly, highly encourage you to check it out. And also, it is still in work in progress. So I'm definitely all ears. And uh, basically, I want to hear what would you suggest that I should do differently or I should expand upon. And that uh, this is, I'm quite new to Patreon. If you have not guessed already. Well, at that, thank you again so much for watching, like and subscribe, and uh, yeah, as always, have a good one.